YouTube as well. Or else I'm not going to have anything to uh, explore. Hey guys on YouTube, what's going on? Welcome along to part three of our um, Penumbra Overture playthrough. Alright, so here we go. We clambered through that little hole. It seems. What's in here? And somebody like shuts the door on us. Nothing. Could be a potential place to hide. All right, let's go check out the other way first. Uh, can you confirm, guys, that you can actually see? Because my preview of my OBS preview is like still showing my um, uh, end screen at the moment. Can you just guys can just confirm everything is live and everything is working? Thank you very much. Gratefully appreciated. What's down here? Sorry, any compared to the sound that travels on the surface. That rock will fall almost sounded organic. Like something, something, something. Okay, cool, Sonny. Thank you very much. Power room. Let's go in the power room. Thanks, guys, for confirming. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome! Alright, so we've got central control panel for the generator. Generator spare parts. Batteries. Which is a way we can go down. Do we need to put some batteries in here, I guess? Industrial fuses. Just turn everything on, why don't we? I'm gonna guess we need to go like down below. Why not? Let's the generator, right? Main generator will remove that start mode to being powered, so we need to power the start mode. Alright, excellent. Let's go down the stairs then, shall we? If we really must. I have just restarted the router to get a stable uh, bitrate, and I'm not dropping any frames, buddy, so... Yeah. Hugo used to have the same issue when watching me on Twitch. He could never watch a Twitch stream. Because it just kept derping out for him. Just click the wheel? Why, I missed the wheel? Where's the wheel? Hey, Slice F. Is it Slice F or Slice Clef? Clef. I know I've been calling you Slice Clef all this time, but... Um, oh, um, we're at a save point here. And some documents. Oh, okay. Uh, congratulations on your purchase of the Type 7 product line. We are now certain you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electric backup system. Below are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up starter motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident in, in 
accident inducing insurance nightmare so enjoy the new increased gear grease control system electronic in slice f slice f just tell me i've been sent it wrong all this time man seriously um although i do seem to remember you told me i'd said it right the first time maybe i did said slice seth the first time who knows anyway i apologize uh, electronic insulation could be expensive to install and maintain so the economy called 7g basic model arrives without how much more so it's got no insulation wow dangerous ensure the area of the equipment um is clear of equipment and personnel connect the and confirm the secondary flow by turning the appropriate valve turn on cooling system to avoid overheating Release excess steam pre until pressure is within safe limits. Um, begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Pull main operation lever. Check. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So much to do, so much to remember. Alright, so, hold on. Notes. Connect and confirm the secondary flow. Confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. So which one's the... Water. Let's turn them all off a minute. Alright, so, can I... Maybe not. Oh, um... What if I did... This... This could work. Yeah, that could work. Let's go down here. Um, chocolate. I just like chocolate. All that for a battery. Okay. Favorite chocolate is anything Cadbury though. Cadbury chocolate is just oh, so nice. So tasty. I don't eat a lot of chocolate because I'm constantly on a diet, so... And that's me dead. Excellent. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I'm sure I touched that thing and saved. Oh. What do I know? Let's try this again. Let's get all these, you know, safety barriers because we don't need these. Let's face it. All right, so then we're going to drop this down the hole. Geronimo! Pick up that. Pick up that. Pick up this. Read that. Done. 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 Now I'll save. Black Jesus! Where's this family guy? Thank you. Alright. Ready no safety rails. Get out of my way. Don't worry, battery, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Good point. Good point, Aaron. <laughs> Oh dear. All right. So let's use the battery. So 
So I still need to prime the other thing, right? Check the fuse box. So have I just like screwed my... Hmm. Why does he greet everyone? <laughs> uh, Alright, so... I still got the do list. We need to turn on the cooling system, which I guess is this one. And... Secondary flow. Oh, so that's, that could be steam. Maybe I need to like go and find some parts now to fix it. Hmm. All right, um, well. I'm guessing we can't do anything else here at the moment, right? So let's go and oh, well, I don't know. It might do. It might do something. <laughs> All right. So All right. Let's um go back out here and more, do more exploring Let's see if we find anything else I guess Dog on that side of the fence, I see him. We'll go down here. Another door of a light. Be careful, so I just chuck it on the floor. Hey, we've got some beef jerky. Let's put that on two. That's what I need. Look. It's on the top shelf. So... Oh, 
<sighs> Let's, um... Oh, come on, you tell me you can't reach there? What's the matter with you? Thank you. All right, we've got a fuse. So power is in here, right? All right. So do I just turn it on then? Alright, so now we need to decipher in ah okay. Something is lit up. Nope, something is not lit up. It's giving me false hope. Alright, so let's try and decipher these instructions then, shall we? Um Automatic gate blocking off the rest of the mine need to somehow power it and move it. Yep, alright, I think we got that. Alright, so connect and confirm secondary flow by turning the appropriate valve. So which is the secondary flow valve? This one? Maybe. Turn on the cooling system to avoid overheating. So... I would say that's that, right? Release excess steam pressure until it is in within safe limits. Oh, hold on. This could be steam, actually. Turn this one off. I can't turn them off. How about we just turn everything on and see what happens? Seem like a good idea? Thought so. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, hold on a minute. That's a two. Is that a two? Does everything reset if we get it wrong? Alright, please say that so everything's reset. It has. Right, okay. So I think this is the secondary one. My goodness, this is... I wish it was just like open up on this page. Maybe I'll just take a picture with my phone or something. Yeah, let's do that. That might make things a bit easier. Picture. It's like the witness all over again. Alright, so. Yes, I know you're charging, phone. Thank you. Oh, sorry guys, be with you in two seconds. Stupid phone. Alright, I'm sure we've got errors. So connect and confirm the secondary flow. So. Um, okay, well. Secondary flow. I think this is secondary flow. Then turn on the cooling system to avoid overheating. I think this is the cooling system. Then release excess steam until the pressure is at safe limits. How do we know if it's safe or not? I don't know. B 
begin the grease flow and then do this one and then pull the main switch. Did it. I is boss. Sweet. All right. So, don't exactly know what for, but we got power, at least. I got the power. So we need a code to get into there, right? I got a code on there. I don't think we've got any. Mm. Go check in here. Uh, June twelfth, seventy-two. Boys, I come. Uh, I come have a word with you myself, but I've got more important things to do than piss about. Making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. Now, I know there's a certain amount of camaraderie between you lot, playing pranks and jokes on each other. It comes with the territory, and that's fine, so long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know full well that Penrose has some very deep seating issues with his height so anyone who thought it'd be a good idea to sabotage a generator then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom would quite clearly need his head examined you get me you get me you get me brah in other news jones in other news jones i wanted that inventory done yesterday and the rest of you it's not all fun and games on you here on a serious note another radio has gone missing and you better hope to god that means one of you's lost it because stealing ain't a pretty word in my book it's the third one this month, which means the amnesty on coming clean is fast coming to a close. Then there'll be repercussions. Got it? What's strange is you're all supposed to be working in pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio without the other spotting it. When I find out who's responsible, I'm going to find out how they got away with it so long. So long. Then I'm going to fling them out into the snow and leave them there. They'll just disappear into the night, just like these radios. Ooh. I'm no good with Morse code. Five dots. Anybody want to decode this for me? It's only four letters. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I'll, I'll write it in the chat. Give me a second. Dot, 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 dot. Dash, dash, dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot. There we go. That's our Morse code. It's the code. I think it might be the code for that gate. I swear down there was a, a pin code on it. Oh. Can I? No. Well, uh, I'm waiting for Aaron on that. Let's just smash over this box, shall we? I can't. All right.
Kind of hard if you don't know Morse code. I'm guessing the first one is either going to be a zero. Really? Alright, so it's not translating to anything. Interesting. Sonny, get out of Paul 2 publishing tool. H seven three eight. Good day. Good day. Can you hear me? Well, I hope that your ears are working better than your tongue, so that you might use them to listen to my words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning, and middle of the tunnel, but some things remain shrouded in darkness. My Morrissey message I hope has helped, but what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Oh, go now, there is no time to explain. Well, in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. Most surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. Okay, so... Beyond the fence to the right, there should be a hole or perhaps an access point to reach further into the mine. Okay. I wonder if it's on like this higher level up here, perhaps. Of course, this catwalk seems a little... Pointless snow. Beyond the fence. Oh, do I have to go through the fence first? Is that what it means? The red guy. You said something about a red guy, right? Okay, so let's go back to listen to the message again, because we definitely need the code. Five seven three eight. Sure.
Hey, have some jerky. Oh, for... Seriously? going to come out. Where are you going? Right. He does want the jerky. You just can't drop it if he's got eye contact. He has to be interested in that before he sees you, it looks like. Ah, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It's a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Okay, so if things are kept, we need to go to the tool shed. I guess. So I need to get a cement mixer? Oh, saw. Xeno report 66B, phase 9, anno 9002, anno domini 1992. Filed by chief attending Xeno officer for the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader, unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be a manufa be of manufactured rather than natural origin, and so warrants additional interest, and may I say security. The bulk of substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where artifact 66B was buried, and appears, at least in the part, to consist of a solid, solidified form of 63 with a number of operable appendages. The artifact emits a low level light of, from a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origins is indeed as was suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear and appropriate measures are being taken. Progress is becoming enlightened as to the purpose of the device, if indeed it is served the purpose in traditional sense at all, has been slow. Following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on phase 7, only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route, avoiding the cave-ins. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it from me to question the decisions of the elevated cast, but I am struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific testing in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team put together and sent here by the immediate superior. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is comforting to know that the actions of every member of the organisation are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outthinking myself, both in a stat both stature and wisdom, and with this in mind I feel fully justified in filing an official request for further manpower. We have already lost a number of workers due to unforeseen events, largely while engaging in the studies mentioned earlier, and further investigations of the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks altogether too hazardous in nature to risk the well-being of more elevated organisation members. In particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site requires immediate cartogra cartography. Whew, that was a mouthful. Jeez. All uh, right, what are we? What are we doing here? What was our to-do list? Oh, well, there's nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing of interest here then. Storage. Let's try storage then maybe. Drop down a note just in case. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Oh dear. Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly ruled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you hear. No, too late. He's seen me. Can't outrun the dogs. I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are. Oh, I can hide up there. Wow. Oh, there's two dogs! <laughs> oh, there's two dogs. Wow. All right. Um, right, so where did I get to? Uh, we are here. All right. Sweet. Didn't realize there were two dogs. So I think we've got to go back to the storage to trigger that. I guess I gotta get into excavation. I hope that your sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Yeah, I guess I access it via excavation. Um, I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient bit. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek. There we go. I don't think I really needed to drop the jerky, to be honest, but hey ho. Uh, the test substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations failed to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102, bromine test normal, pH 5. Test 103, acid 
amid, am I, am, am, amide test negative. Ammonia NH3 negative unreactive. Test 105 hydrochloric acid solution negative for sulfite, sulfate, sulfide, and chlorate ions. Test 106 standard hallucinogens mild intox toxicant tests abandoned due to the most test subjects suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one to two hours. Test 107 positive negative me metal applications incomplete. Test 108 human hallucinogens incomplete. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be a harmful blend of sulfur, chlorine and aromic amine which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that the harmless that harmless here is used in the xen xenosemic chemics sense. It is harmless in so far as we have identified it and so can take the necessary safety measures in directly ingested it would naturally be lethal. 159 potassium dichromate paper positive for sulfur a litmus test negative for all but chlorine. Uh, 301 hydrochloric acid solution positive for aromatic amine. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from the dormant location causes its base state to radio rad radically change, producing massive heat to the detriment of three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipa dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead. Unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run, and prevailing theory is that somehow the disruption of the material causes it to enter hugely accelerated chemical K. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0.4 of a second. All right. So, where is the, there it is. So, is there anything else I can use to... I can't pick these boxes up. These are too heavy. Is there any boxes up here? Nope. Oh, hold on. I got it. I got it. Probably What's this one first. As I said before, it's the only thing I don't like about this, like the way you move things in this game. It's so it can be so difficult just to like turn something. Use the ledge here. There we go. The movement system, though, the interaction system, I do like. It's very, very, very well done, in my opinion.
It's like this, I just want to go forward. I can't, it won't let me go forward because of the way I'm holding the box. Is there a slight... Oh, there's a lip. Oh dear, alright, missed that up. My bad. I think I only need that one, to be honest. So let's push that one out of the way. Push this one back to there. You and me, my friend. We're going to go for a little ride. See what I mean? That's what I don't like about this movement system. So pernickety. Come on. Come on. Did you try and like stop me? You're coming up here. End of story. All right, let's try and there we go. And then you like fall down, and then that's sort of like the loading screen. Interesting. All right, guys. Well. We are going to leave it there for today. We are out of time. Apologies again once more for the slightly delayed, uh, sorry, slightly shorter episode from normal. As always, links on screen. Please go and check them out if you haven't done already. And we will be back tomorrow, 1pm GMT, carrying on our playthrough of Overture. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.